Hello and welcome, welcome back to Nimrods, the last time out. We tried something different, something I hadn't tried before, and it didn't work out in the end. Primarily, we took the pulse rifle and as you can see it says huge, but two weak bullets and they were quite weak, but they were not huge at all. This week, today we're going to be trying something different, something that is actually huge and that is explosions so for this one well there's actually two weapons that shoot explosives this is there's this the Hydra mini missiles warmer now that is small explosions not that big really but you know what makes big explosions a rocket launcher oh my rocket dropped all the grenade launcher Obviously, large explosions, very good. I'm, I'm personally a big fan of blowing stuff up. I've always played Spellcaster DPSs in them most, for example, and this week we're gonna try this one out. Let's give a go. Right, here we are with our rocket launcher. And this is beautiful. It's quite the blast. Our drone is the same as last time, the trusty Tesla and Carbine. And for our first picks, we have the bullet optimization. I don't think we need penetrations. And, oh, beauty, you beauty. The underbarrel energy blaster. This one's pretty much my favorite at the underbarrel. Really, one of my um, favorites overall. That's an instant pick. Hmm. For this one, um, I'm not really. Don't really care for any of these. Obviously, bullet count is nice, but eh. let's go for bullets. Bullet speed, though, because as you can see. Not the fastest. Up next we have a, a slasher between a stock, a grip and a grip. I reckon I'm gonna go with the brass knuckles. Firstly because it looks cool. Because it just looks wacky as fuck. And... Oh, yeah, honestly that's kind of it. XP gain rate is nice though. So at least we have that going. Okay, we're at level 4 now and there's not much here to choose from, but I reckon a little bit more crit chance. Just to give our explosions a bit more oomph. 67, 66. Pretty nice. Right, up next. Oh, we have a ducky charm. Now, there's usually another charm whose name I've forgotten. I think it's the sergeant charm which gives you a stacking and infinitely increasing damage bonus. It's generally regarded as the best one in this game, at the moment at least, but I've always been partial for this one primarily because it's both reload speed and rate of fire which is... that, that combination is always, always very nice. But Right now we'll go. We'll just go with this one. More bullets, more crits, and just improved our underbarrel. This could be nice, but I th I reckon could be nice. Like maybe maybe we could lock this in. Bullet damage and reload speed, and of course an armor bonus later on. Let's just lock this in right now. Now the frost turbine, as we discovered last time, I don't think there's been an update, so this one will only increase the uh, firing speed, not the recharge rate. Very unfortunate, even for an underbarrel like this one, which does get grant me a charge every second, and uh, thus becomes a much more uh, useful. Thank you. 
Uh, oh, yep, there it is, the Chevron Charm. Boosts our ability recharge rate. In this case, it's our movement speed buff. And look at this, our kill gain plus 0.01% bullet damage. It doesn't seem like much, but it does not expire and stacks, so it adds up. Among other choices, we have the sniper barrel, which I'm not too keen on, especially because our reload speed is already quite bad. Uh, and I've only had success with two barrels, the Hell Spitter and the Helix, which this isn't. The Splitting Magazine, I'm quite partial to this one because we will have a lot more explosions with this one. However, I do want to get the Chevron Charm going up early. So let's pick that one and let's see in a while how much our damage has increased. Oh, here come the tanks. Just in time for my Shadow Shop to. Well, I haven't even got to the level yet, so it shouldn't start ramping up just yet. Oh, here we go, here come the first boss. Chevron Sharp hasn't quite uh, had time to stack up just yet, but the bonus should be quite nice already. It would be nice if we get some reload speed. Hmm. I reckon. Hmm, I don't think I've actually gained any damage since we picked the Chevron Sharp, but you know, early days, early days. I reckon I'm going to pick the Gunny's Notches. Enemy spawn rate not so good, but I do wish I could have a fourth pick at some times. And we are about to get another bonus from the trophy. And that's the bonuses. And here we go. Penetration's bullet count. Uh, I don't think so just yet. XP gain rate. We're going to have quite a bit from our grip. Crit bonus though. Uh, there was was there one with reload speed? I don't think there was. Rate of fire, not quite so good. Crit bonus. Yeah, this one I reckon I'll go for this one. Crit bonus and air capacity. Both I quite like. And we're gonna have plenty of opportunity to grind up armor. And for our first 5 stack, I'm sorry, 4 stack rather, we get no, nothing much to care about. However, I reckon I am going to go for the anti safe lepta just to get some health top up. It's not much, I, or I could get more enemies, which might start giving me some bonuses for my other point one. I should start seeing some bonuses, shouldn't I? Yeah, for now. Let's just get more. Airdrop capacity. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. I thought I might see it here, and we are doing more damage. Let's just get rid of this lot. Yeah, it does show up on the escape menu. Not quite in these stats. However, oh, look at that four point oh eight percent chance. So every sixteenth drop should, in theory, give us five items, and it just so happens we got lucky with our very first one. 
we got the chance of this night we got the chance of two barrels in fact I don't really care about either of them and one of my favorite picks the cryo mag I mean more damage and chilling enemies that is you can't really go wrong with that however hmm, and I don't have either of these which does kind of suck however we are maxing out explosions and I reckon oh yes let's go for this one Oh, those are quite the tiny baby ones. However, the blast radius seems to be the same. And that is going to be quite nice. Okay, up next we have... Oh, hello! There has been an update, I believe. The Geomass Enlarger only gave bullet size and collection range, but now we also have an effect size. Effect size is something I don't usually take. But this time, since we're going for big explosions, it only seems fitting to go for it. 3% might not seem like much, and I don't think there will be a very visible uh, difference until we have a few more. But you can't really go with a bigger explosion. Oh. Especially when coupled with the little ones. That aren't actually that much smaller. But that, well, that is a size. Right, up next we have another barrel that I don't want. I still don't want this one. However, we get some more upgrades. Now this one, I reckon this one would be good once we have more uh, upgrades, lots fill. So stock, charm, mat, actually. Let's count. We, get, we have a stock, we have a grip, we have a charm, an under barrel and a, the magazine. So that would be 1 plus 5, so 6 in total. However, I reckon I, I'm still gonna go with the grip. Just, you know, you get that XP gain rate going. It's, it's quite a lot. And we, do, we're, we now have more than 1.5. And it looks like we've run into our first big spawn event. I would like some more reload speeds. I, to need to deal with um, the interval where I'm not blowing stuff up. Every second spent not doing that is not the best. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that health bar. But however, it's not the explosion, I believe. It might have been. No, it's definitely on the barrel. That's the or rather, I think it's the drone doing that much damage. Or it could be both. But for now... I reckon let's go for... Power and Prestige. More armor. And of course... More bullet damage. Let's officially let's check 64.67. That's pretty nice already. Oh, not yet of course. Uh, Coffin and Stock Striker. Uh, let's go with more crits. Uh, how much are we critting for? 178. And how much is Underbell? 41. And up next, we have not really that much of use. Uh, it's between this. To get that health region started at the very least uh, and a bigger mag size so I can shoot for longer before needing to reload. I'm going to go for a mag size. More persistent explosions and we're less reliant 
of having a decent reload speed is just less time. The ratio of shooting to reloading has been decreased with these guys. And bam, smashing a lot of enemies. Right, for this one. Oh, there is the Sergeant Charm, which boosts our partner's bullet damage on kill. I reckon I could go for this. An Altavistic Loader is pretty nice. And of course, this one decreases our time or ratio of reloading even more. So, we don't really have to worry about the fact that we haven't seen the real speedback in a while. As we deal with these chargers. Um, there's quite a lot of dodging involved with these kind of things. Alright, here's, here's it. Here's our dropship. Status effect, I don't think we... We, we will have the shocked one for level upping this, however, I do fancy finally getting that healing. You know, starting it off at, at the very least. It's, it ain't much, and we just picked up a health kit, which does offset a lot of our health healing needles. But, you know, it's just a little bit of topping up every now and then. And just like XP, it will add up eventually. You know, after after a while. However, 1.6. There's a 30 minutes limit, and oh, hell's bitter. Oh, very tempting, but I reckon I will gun it. Gun for the helix barrel. More bullets, more explosions. And I do want this one because it will increase the energy charge generation rate. And you know, since since the other bonus thing doesn't actually boost it, this will come in handy. And of course, it also gives us a full region. comes another boss and another level up. Crit chance? Hmm. Or more mag side. I reckon. Crit chance. Oh, never mind. We have bigger explosions. It doesn't make them do any more damage, but you know. If I can make my explosions bigger, I am going to. Oh, there's the trophy. It went a bit different way. Uh, let's see, what do we want here? Do we want more crit bonus? Or do we want more raw damage? I reckon let's go for just more damage. Stronger explosions. And yeah, let's continue the trend. And 102 of the Chevron Charms doing well. And the little suckers are no match for our blast radius. Oh, here we go. More good stuff. Right, piercing bolts, they do make my charges weak. Weaker, rather, but, but both of them do. And this one, the piercing bolts will. Mm, Yeah, this one does give Tesla Tesla burst that you know shock nearby enemies like chain lighting, but you know this one 
penetrates and eventually the energy charges do become quite powerful oh, we actually have the option between both of them but you know what I reckon I'll stick with the piercing bolt Since we're going for the tactic of hitting a lot of enemies. More explosion size. The magnet is starting to drop frames, but thankfully it's just the magnet. And it really wants to give us the energetically this is a, this the, that is a mouthful uh, for my second language energetically dissuasive battle uh, this one rate of fire bullet speed pretty nice but I reckon I will go for Ooh, that's a lot more explosions let's go uh, let's have a go oh yes that is beautiful. Right, it's time for a little swarm of suckers to spawn to be tested out on. And previously, this was the only way to increase the effect size, but now, thankfully, we have more than this option. So we are doing well. We are doing very well with our explosion size. And look at that, look how many little projectiles, how many little rockets we are propelling. Car. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, here we go. Here's another swarm of the flying. What's it like? Even forms? Flyers. Because they fly. And. Oh! Ah, oh, there it is. The Helix battle. We do lose some bullet damage, but we are shooting twice as many of them. That's actually quite a bit. Ah, oh, yes. Bullet speed is halved, but lifetime is doubled. Yeah, right, let's lock the helix barrel in and let's get some... God... God damn, also, yeah, it will also double the bonus we get from anti-safe selectors and that kind of thing. God damn. This... Oh, and also the mini bullets also... Mini rockets, sorry. They also fly in the same pattern. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Oh, let's get the... Damage we've lost back. Some of those firing um, motions seem quite, kind of weird. It's like they're kind of centric back in on themselves. You know what? If they center on the single target, I think it's fine. Less mag size. But more reload speed. And on fire under. Oh my god. Here we go. Look at that. Is it? And then helix barrel. Just like Hellspitzer, you can get really wacky with this one. Oh, look at that. The entire, sc entire screen is explosions. Oh, that is beautiful. More bullet speed. Let's get him flying fast. Covering everything in. Oh, we could we could have even more bullets. This will synergize even more with the third. With third tier of Helix Barrel. 
more explosion size. Uh, let's get it. Oh, we're kind of lingering. Let's go get a magnet. God. Oh, Ripper Ring. Um. Yeah, this one's useless to be to be honest. This one, on the other hand, even more bullets. Yes, please. Look at those rockets. Absolutely crazy. Everything is exploding. Now this, this is what I like to see. Nothing, nothing but explosions. And because everything is exploding, these little bastards that are trying to get to us, they just can't. They just can't. Right, where is a... Okay, just hard right. And then up a little bit. For our next tower. Oh, we are losing frame hard. And that's what I like to see. Well, not really, but you know. If we were to lose frames via explosions, I can't complain. I personally cannot complain too much. Only a little bit. Now that's another tower dealt with, and let's suck in all the XP. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of levels. That's a lot of drops we were missing out on. Let's see more bullet damage. Up here we have more crits. Yes, please. And here we have. Yeah, or maybe not. Yeah, let's get this one. Oh, no. Have I got? Have I got the other one? No, I do not. Drop chance spawn rate. It will get us more kills, so it will also boost these two. For yeah, you know what, let's get it, let's get it. And more explosions. Oh, just one shot and everything explodes on the screen. Isn't it beautiful? I reckon I'm feeling even brave enough to venture into a different backdrop for my explosions. Moving past the other spawn point. Welcome to bees. Oh, by far annoying. The second most annoying thing. At least they die quite easily. There's more things to worry about here than just bees. Oh my god, the frame rate. The frame rate. It's beautiful. I cannot see a bloody thing and I wouldn't. Oh, now this, now this is projectile size. I'm still stacking the under barrel because, as I've mentioned it a million times by now, it ramps up. It ramps up quite hard and this is our final path. We have two more upgrades. Both increase bullet damage and reload speed. And we have a boss. We don't have a boss. More bullet damage. Yes, let's go. Let's go for it. Still at 102. 103. He's wrapping up quite fast though, I have to say. More crit chance or more reload speed. Yeah, I reckon more reload speed. 
Oh, there is, there's the tower. I, I'm, all, I'm only uh, navigating by help out. The one that... The one that stays the same size is mine. And I cannot see... Oh, four. Four level ups. Bigger explosions. I have to blow. More, more. I can't wait for optimizations. And our armor goes up quite a lot. I do wonder if this one continues increasing or is this, was this a one time thing? I, I fear it's a one time thing, I'm afraid. Right, where's the final one? Here it is. What's that? 15.4. Well, it's 15. Po mm, nah. More special power. It is a good thing we have this much armor. Because I ain't controlling much at the moment. Uh, I, I am. Hmm. Actually, let's have another look. Where is it? Where is it? 15.5. It does increase. Um, oh! We even have a crate I haven't found. I didn't open yet. It, oh my god, it actually blocked every single underbar shot towards the tower. Not fun. And Bam, that's that dealt with. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, we can have a flat increase in armor. More health regen, I reckon. I'm gonna spend one increase in a ball tonight. Right, what do we get here? Oh, yep. The spike for the spike stock. Mm -hmm. I reckon. Yeah, more special power. The final boss isn't far off. We are at 24 minutes, so the final boss. Where is it? It's. It's right. Oh! Yep, there is the final boss for this area. It's Betty. Where is... Okay, there it is. Uh, doo -doo -doo. More healing, more armor. I reckon more armor. Because I cannot see a damn thing. Oh, this. I really need to take less damage. I'm actually going to leave. Leave the bees. Leave the of dance cannons. Oh my god. Where am I? I'm nearly out. I'm gonna use my powerful underbarrel. And one of the underbarrels are pretty much the best way to deal with anything that has a health bar. As oh my god. Go away, scarab, please! As I shall now demonstrate. It's not. It wasn't the most um, devastating of bursts. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of starting to doubt whether I have enough firepower to. I think I will survive. I think I will survive now that I don't have to deal with neither bees nor scarabs. But will I have enough under barrel damage? Well, makes sense to boost it then. It's piercing. Mm, very good for mobs. The trash that we're, de we're dealing with most of the time. But, dam but the increased damage penalty means it's not the best for the final boss. I'm going to try to find. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where am I? Oh, actually, there's towers right there. Oh, that's one tower dot with um, really oh. oh, right. More level ups will also give it a base increase as well. Oh, that is a lot of level ups.
That is a lot of levels. Fire, actually, to be exact. And let's get more bullet damage and which will boost our health. And armor. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Immediately we're doing a lot more damage now. Our drone has finished. We don't have a lot of health and we only have a half minute left until we get pulled out. Oh, there we go. We just about made it. Before our forced extraction, half an hour in. Whew, that was very successful. 19 seconds spare and 27 and a half million. Now that's a hole. And here is our weapon. We have a mission done. We found a prick. Uh, let's do a quick DPS test. I cannot actually see the DPS meter much, but 22, boost 25. And now for the actual damage dealer. Let's wait until it goes down to zero, of course. 100 and 200, pretty much. Really, so 10%? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of um, makes sense. I reckon that's good for today. If you've stayed for this long, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, perhaps even subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to suggest you share it for everyone you know. I will only imply it. And I will see you next time. Bye.